Hey guys, how's it going? So, if you're like me, you've really been enjoying the game here lately, and I think with the addition of Trust Stones and just the variations that you can have on TMRs, it's just made the game just, I don't know, more expansive in a way. So with that, I was thinking of ways to pretty much make the game generally more fun for not only just veterans, but people who plan to stay on this game for the long run. If you feel like I missed anything that you feel is important, I mean, feel free to add whatever. Like I said, in the comment section, I would definitely look over it and, you know, we can talk or, you know, go back and forth with each other. But with that said, let's just go ahead and go right into the first thing, which, um, me being a PC player, this is pretty huge for me. I use Bluestacks. I have, like, one fix. Make an online client. That, to me, would be, like I said, one of the biggest things to show in self-investment. It's showing that you care, like I said, for not only the um, iPhone users or Android users, but you care about the community in general to give those people that option to play, like I said, on PC, to entice them to play on PC. And I just think a client would just be really good. It would shut down on the crashing as far as trying to use outer sources, whether you're using Knox, any kind of emulator, pretty much. Yeah, please do that. Like out of all the things on this list, please make the online client. Moving on to number two. Now, if there's anything I really feel like would just make this game a lot more easier, you know, just to um, go through equipment and stuff like that, they need to add a category for the specific kind of weapon it is. Like how they have the category for like weapon, armor, accessory, trust master. Like, I feel like you would have to know too much about the weapon, especially if you're a new player to understand how to find something specific. So what I would do, they need to add a section where it's literally saying that. There's bows, um, swords, katanas, great swords. It would just make going through and trying to find something specific, whether you're trying to craft it or you're trying to level something up, it would make it so much easier to find stuff. And I think that that would be huge, you know, just as far as, you know, using the filter. Whatever it is that you want to compare, it would just be easier to do it that way. You can see all the swords you have, all the bows you have, and just, like I said, compare them like that. It's something I would just like to see in the game. I think it would make a big enough difference to where it was appreciated. Now, moving on to, like, one of the most toxic things, or really one of the things I really just, like, generally don't like in this game, and it's, it's definitely multi. Um, the password setting thing, I understand it, like I said, to kind of keep people out. The password setting thing can stay, but what I would prefer is like whenever you create the room, you turn the password on, I should be able to click here and invite my friends. There needs to be an invitation system for sure. It's just a quick little um, notification on your screen or whatever, and you can click, you know, decline or join and uh, have a little box you can check that says like, you know, if you don't want them spamming you any more invites for the day, just click on that and just say ignore for the rest of the day. And you'll ignore that specific person or, you know, whatever. It makes the game more fun. You can see who's online, who's not online. Um, but it should be like, you know, your guild mates, your friends. It's like that full little access to everybody that's connected to your account. You can also edit your friends list this way because if people aren't, you know, necessarily playing with you or they're not, you know, you never really do anything with them, just, you know, delete them, boot them, whatever. I wanted to make this without the uh, password where anybody can just join in and stuff like that. You know that certain, um, certain missions are just better for running, like I said, specific elements. Generally, everybody does run to Black Rose Helena or some kind of arithmetician, Halloween Little Leela. You know, they, they, that's like everybody's general go-to, which I really find annoying. It would just make it easier if you could just set the rule as to, okay, you can only use dark units, you can only use light units, you can only use lightning. It would feel like your room because you can boot people, which like I said, maybe something else they may need to do, but once you boot somebody or block them or something like that to where they can't rejoin the room, there needs to be more control in multi because multi, I think is commonly known to not really be all that fun. I, the only time I really ever get on this is just to collect the mission rewards, get the crystals or the visor, get whatever, like I said, it is that I can get from the multi mission and I'm done with that. Like I'll never play multi, even though I know it's good for the, um, if it's your uh, room, the hosting bonus, you can get extra items and stuff like that. Yeah, I'm good. Not only that, 
you can't auto like continue so there's no you have to re-embark every every time wait for everybody to ready up like yeah multi sucks if there's anything you guys could think that would add on to multi or that you maybe take away from multi to make it better i would love to know okay something else i think that would definitely be kind of huge for the game is a different game mode the tower mission i think is one of those things that you just generally just stick around the porcelain tower uh, maybe change it up from a different, you know, kind of tower. Just have like different towers every week. You know, try to beat it. Y'all can just add stuff to it down the line, make it tougher. I just feel like the, the tower needs to be a permanent thing. Add more rewards to it, different weapons. There's so much, you know, that you can realistically do. Something that like is guild based, something like I said, that the guild as a whole can just work toward. I think what would be like pretty good is if it was multiplayer. And it goes back into like that invitation thing where you can invite your teammate to play with you. All of you control one character or, you know, however it is that you would really want to do it. But y'all are trying to prioritize making a chain, trying to, you know, use the same element of characters or, you know, things along that sort that like you need communication or some form of understanding about the game mode to where it's not just like plug and play. Oh, I'll just put my Black Rose Helen in and we just Black Rose Helen at the thing to death no i want and you can't use it should be where you can't use the same character as your teammate that would be huge like i said maybe somebody's um esther or charlotte or whatever is built up better than so and so's you know cloud or whatever however it is there would be a you know some kind of order to it where like i said you're communicating saying what you have as far as equipment this this and that and they'll be like oh i have a plus five that so maybe i should use you know so and so I think that would be really fun, really engaging, and it's incentive to compete, like I said, with other um, guilds. On top of that, like I said, there's rewards. You know, it doesn't even have to be anything crazy. I just feel like maybe the top one alliance, they get 500 crystals, 1,000 crystals. This is a weekly thing, so it's like, I'm trying to, you know, be fair about it. But I think, yeah, something along those lines, 500 crystals, just for like a score thing. Like I said, everybody's trying to, you know, get this high score, uh, whether it's chain, elemental chains, you can set the rules, like I said, but I would definitely try to add more game modes. I think the more division that we can get with like our accounts as a whole, just it, it'll add another element to the game. And like I said, it could be whatever, some um, account cards, account uh, runes or something like that. I think that would be really, really cool. Okay, so for the next one, it's pretty basic. I think there should be an option to come in here wherever you go to, you know, this little section. Be able to change the music um i'm trying to think there was that whole lo-fi uh version of the votive song uh we have different collabs that have different songs battle music i mean you guys made these assets like why not kind of show both them a little bit and give people that variation but something i think would just be huge especially like for newer players to be able to use a friend companion I think is the only stipulation to this. It has to be one of your friends. But to be able to auto repeat with a companion, you want to do that for trials because it was giving you um, a bonus. Um, another issue is the key quest. Like I have 250 of these JP things. Do you really think I want to do this every time? Give this an auto replay feature. If I don't want to change my companion ever, I should be able to just auto play through it. Aside from that, that's really all I could like think about. I hope you guys have a nice day. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and I'll see you later.